The field emission electron microscope demonstrates quantum mechanical effects in metals. It was invented by Erwin Müller in 1936. The device images the crystalline structure of a tungsten needle tip. The needle tip with a radius of one micron is in the center of a spherical glass bulb under high vacuum. With 10,000 volts applied, the electric field is so strong at the needle tip that electrons are spontaneously emitted to travel along the radial field lines and impact on a zinc sulfide screen of a radius of 5 cm. A magnification of 500,000 times is obtained and the arrangement of atoms in the crystal structure of the needle tip can be seen. An auxiliary system inside the tube provides for the evaporation of barium. Barium acts as a getter, absorbing residual gases, and also provides a dramatic view of how small nucleus of barium evaporates if the tungsten tip is heated up. A detailed description of what ha happens requires a quantum mechanic approach. The description can be simplified and be said that if some electrons depart the metal, it will leave it charged positively and will be pulled back. A barrier layer, negative outside, is created and prevent even the statistically highly energetic electrons to leave the metal. When high electron density is injected into the tungstenum tip, the most energetic electrons will tunnel through the double layer. This tunnel will occur between the atoms where the work, the work function, is lower. The image that appears on the phosphorus reflects the variation in the work function at the cathode surface. In our first experimental setup, we used a Van der Graaff generator to provide for how voltage. Nick was the contact to the tungsten tip and Fred was the grounding connection. As it can be seen from the images, uh, with the noise, hair rising, voltages all around and uh, the worries, worries about the health of our camcorder, the idea was not such a good one. We switched to a Wimshot electrostatic machine that was more comfortable to work with. The 